Hey there everyone and welcome to iOS 11 training. So iOS 11 is so much fun to work and this is this is not a specific feature for iOS 11 but what we are going to do in this video is we're going to learn how we can customize our Xcode uh, so that whenever we need something we can actually do it from the Xcode itself and rather just creating new classes and adding all those properties and view did load and other stuff. What we're going to do is we're going to create a customized uh, circle around our buttons and that is going to be a fun and exciting thing to do. Let me also show you what I have created, some assets for you, and just like always, all these assets are completely free for you, even for the commercial purpose. So I have created a lot of them, and I will include a lot of them uh, in your assets file as well. So go into the constraints, and the circles is going to be our app. And let me open the sketch here. I happen to work in the sketch all the time. Kind of a Photoshop is stuff. If you're a go, if you are a pro uh, Photoshop guy, it's okay. You can keep on working with that. I happen to work in the sketch. So this is the UI that we will be creating exactly the same, but there are a couple of ways to handle this situation here. For example, you can ask your designer to actually export these icons together so that the circle appears there and we can then customize the height, size and everything just right there. That is going to be a one way of situation handling the things, but we are not here for that. We are here to learn the things on the hard way and we're going to learn how we can create new classes and can customize our Xcode for that. So we will have a UI something like this and then we realize that hey we need to add the circles there and we'll be doing that. Looks amazingly and exciting there. Okay. Now also I have exported these backgrounds which are decently okay. I'll call it a good job just for a 15 minutes or something. So this is my Mac and this is my phone icons again all free for you. So this is what we are going to have. And let's close this. Let's open up our Xcode beta and create a fresh, fresh project for this guy. Come on, open up the Xcode beta for me. Where is that guy? Okay, there we go. And always allow, always allow. So this is the project that we have, button circle. And it's ready. And it's already being created. It's indexing, but there is nothing inside the project. I'll show you the files and everything. Uh, this is what I have done you always do by going file new and project and Select that single view project next and just name it. That's all what we have done But I have tried to save a little bit time for you, but it's not allowing me by indexing it. Okay, looks good. Let's run this app and It happened to be my simulator is not running right now uh, This is the beautiful simulator of the Xcode Loved it, loved it. Did you see a little bit of the red glitch Red glitch there? Probably that's a beta bug. Okay, let me show you the files. This is our view controller, and which is completely empty. It's taking a little bit while to settle down. Uh, I have, okay, there we go. So this is what we have. And exactly the same, nothing much here. And in the storyboard, uh, we have nothing at all. Just blank storyboard. There we go. So in the meantime, it runs up. Let's uh, configure our UI here. So we're going to select uh, image view there. Drag and drop this guy. Come on. Okay, there we go. Drag and drop this guy. And we'll extend that to full length. Let's add a little bit of the constraints. Not much, not much. So we're going to pin it from 0, 0, 0, 0. And should add these constraint. This guy is not going anywhere. So there we go. Just a blank app. Let's stop this guy. Okay, let's bring our assets if I can find them somewhere. There we go. And this is our assets and not like that. Just open it for me. Come on. There we go. We forgot to create icon. No big deal. Assets and constraints, circles. We are going to need all of you except the sketch. So let's drag and drop this guy. Now we have 1x, 2x, 3x image for higher devices like iPhone 7. And by the way, there is no need to get this 1x because Xcode now don't use 1x. They just use 2x and 3x. But let's just have them. Let's just have it. So go to the main storyboard. And uh, let's select this button and change that to BG. Uh, there we go. Looks nice. And now we're going to have a button. There we go. Let's have a button here. Okay. And this is going to be a button with an image image will be let's just have a Mac at the top and once it has a Mac I like to delete the button there title and there we go now 
This is not looking good because the constraints ratios are size is actually not perfect. So let's go into the size inspector and change its size to, I have actually designed them for 50 by 50 and that will look exactly what they were meant to be. We can actually place them somewhere like this. Let's add a little bit of the constraint so that it look decently good there. And I want fixed width and height as well this time. And I will also say that horizontally centered in the container should be happy. It is. Okay, that's one thing. Now, I can actually press Command D. Nope, if I'll press Command D, the constraints will get copy as well. I don't want to do that. Let's add a new button there. And yep, that is good. Let's make it 50 by 50 as well. So 50 by 50. There we go. Okay, nice. And we need a phone image there. We can just delete this button text. And why is it not looking 50 by 50? Why? Why on the God's green earth? There we go, 50 by 50. Cool. And looks good now. Decently good. And I'll, I would also like to add a few constraints here. So let's fix it from left and right. And uh, nope. yeah, left and right is actually fine. Let's have constant width and height and also fix it from the bottom. So there we go, is happy. Okay, let's run this on our iPhone and see if we are making any good progress so far. Should be looking decently good. There we go. We have a button, nice animations there. Looks good. I am happy with this. But now we decided that, hey, you know what? I want to add a circle just outside this button. Okay, so how we can actually do that? Now, all, although we can add these properties here by going to the identity inspector, add a key path values here, but we are not going to be doing like that. What we're going to be doing is select this guy, right click, and we're going to create a new file here. So new file, that is going to be a Cocoa Touch class next, and it's going to be from the subclass of a UI button there. So UI button and we're going to call this as round just like that round we don't need to create any nip file or something let's just click on next yeah just keep it there we are not following any mvc or anything right now otherwise i like to keep my uh, all these drawable designs things in a separate folder but we're going to learn that later on okay let's get rid of the comments now okay now in order to show everything uh on our Xcode right bar, first of all, we have to add a property that is at the rate IB designable. So let's just do that. IB designable. That is one thing that we have to do. Okay, now let's add a few properties that are required for a roundish button there. And these are simply corner radius, border width, and border color. That's it. But in order to show them on the right side of this, we have to add one more property here, which is IB inspectable. So IB inspectable, okay. And now we can set our methods there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first of all create a variable for that and we're gonna call this as uh, corner radius. Corner radius, there we go. So corner radius, it's gonna be of type CG float, not just ordinary float, it's gonna be, oops cg float there we go okay now initially it's going to have a value of zero it's a good idea but again if you want all of the guys to have some values you can always assign that no big deal and once we have this we want to set a property on it uh, which is did set again uh, the default one did set okay it's not suggesting me no big deal so this did set what it does it actually applies the changes right just there. So as soon as you click on these changes, the changes will be shown to you uh, in the simulator there itself, okay? So that is what we are gonna do, did set, and there we go. And all you have to do is, in case you do remember, in some of the previous video I told you that you always apply these things to the layer. So what you do is self dot layer dot, and then you add these properties, so which is corner radius. and. Uh, set that to whatever the value of this okay i can get rid of that for a moment and you can set that to whatever the corner radius is okay so this looks good and should be happy and now what we can do just to test this out we have to add a couple of more properties but i can go into the main storyboard 
select this button, bring this guy back, we can actually expand this a little bit. And now we can see this is just having a UI button class, I can drag and drop and select my round button. And since we have inherited from UI button, all the features of UI button will be there, but some of our customizable will be there. And if I go into the inspector there, by selecting this, of course, uh, the corner radius is there now. So we have added the properties here. And if I just go there, it can be added. But what we are seeing here is nothing because a corner radius is there, but since uh, we haven't added any, any corner border radius colors, this is why it's not showing. But as soon as it shows there, it's it's okay, it's fine. Uh, we can keep working on this guy, okay? Now, what I need to do is add uh, more properties, and one of them is border color, otherwise things are not gonna be shown. So let's just have border color. So border color and uh, border color is not going to be CG float. It's going to be uh, simply the UI color there. So let's just change it, its type UI color. There we go. And initially it's going to be clear. So we have a dot clear. There we go dot clear. Okay, looks good. And we have to change this guy as well, because it's not going to be just like that. It's going to be self dot radius got uh, border color. There we go is going to be equal to border color. Sounds, sounds simple. Yeah, it is. Uh, border color, what is your problem? CG color, fix that. Okay, you want to cast that as a further? Go ahead, do that. You should be good as. Okay, and okay. So it's again, okay, what I can do here is I can fix this guy with a little bit better things here. And I can say dot CG color. Now this guy should be happy. Yes, again, you can cast that as well, or you can just add a dot property. It's just not happy. Okay, CG color and yeah, this is my bad. It should be smaller one, CG color. Okay, now it is happy. My bad, my bad. Uh, should be looking good now, good and fine. Uh, corner radius, border color, we didn't add the border width, so let's get border width as well. We forgot that. Get that. By the way, you can add more properties, like if you want to change the colors on the go, maybe add some width just like that. They are there, but still, if you want to add that, you can do so. This is just a way of how you can customize the thing. And adding these IB inspectable and IB designable is super important. IB inspectable is responsible of showing that on the right hand bar, see? see? Okay, so this is going to be border width and this is gonna be, I think all of this is gonna be CG float. So I can copy this guy. Border width is gonna be, come on, let me add CG float there. CG float, initial value. Yeah, of course we know that zero. And this is not gonna be just like that. It is gonna be just like border width and this is gonna be border width, okay. And uh, looks good. Let's just allow it to build for a second. There we go. We can see a lot of things are happening at the top and things should be good. Now, why we have done it like this way, we can all, always add these keyframe properties there, but we have to apply this on a multiple objects. If we would have gone here, selected this, added these key paths, we, have, we would have to do it again and again. But now we can do is go here and we can see all these properties here. So what we can do surprisingly and fun, we can add this as uh, this guy, which is a sharp red. And uh, I can add these border radius as two and border width as uh, one. And you can see that this is being shown here. Okay. And uh, since my icons are actually very small, uh, this is not working and looking as good as it should be. Or probably I can select something better like white. Now we can see that. But again, we have to actually shrink down our image asset a little bit. Uh, so that looks good. If we will do that, if you're thinking that you can just go ahead and do uh, something like 40 and 40 there, uh, hit enter. It is not going to work. Let me just clear the constraints there for a moment. Okay. But since all of these things are just impact and their designs are just like that, so that is why it's saying, uh, but again, we can do a little bit customization here to show you that how the things are going on. So we can have a border radius there. And uh, you know what? 
Since we have got the border radius as 40, we should be saying that the corner radius should be 20. And hit enter and now we can see that we have got a perfect uh, circle there. I know I did fail there in creating the assets there. Uh, but again, uh, we can actually produce a little bit smaller graphics there and can have exported. By the way, if you can stay me here for a little bit more, we can actually uh, solve this issue. So let me open up the sketch file there. And these are the guys which are having uh, 50 by 50. So what we can do is uh, we can create an artboard there. And this artboard is going to be, let's just say 50 by 50. Okay, press the Z key. And uh, okay, whatever you are doing. Okay, let's have this 50 by 50. Copy this guy, copy and paste it there. And now I can actually zoom that in here and I can shrink this guy a little bit so that it is still 50 by 50, but there is some margin being thrown away to it. Okay, now what we can do here is we can select this canvas, this artboard, which is 50 by 50. And now if we will add any circle, this circle will appear just here and this guy, this guy can be a little bit smaller as well. This will look just amazing there. Okay, so let's export this artboard in one, two, and three. Export the artboards and we're gonna call him as, I don't know what to call him. It will be called as artboard, I am pretty sure. Okay, let's just see. And yes, we are having some artboards there. Uh, let's just drag and drop them. Artboards, there you go, okay. These are a little bit smaller images. We have quickly created them. Okay, now let's go to the main storyboard. Select this button. I want to select this button. Yep, there we go. And we can change the image there if I can find it somehow. And let's call it as artboard. And now we can see that now uh, this guy is actually working fine. Let's expand that a little bit, maybe 50 by 50. Okay. This is looking like more over like an oval because in order to make a perfect circle, uh, this should be, first of all, the button should be fixed square and whatever the square width is like 50 by 50, just make sure the corner radius is just half of it so that it can tilt an angle there. I hope you do understand there. So I'll say 25 here and now it's a perfect circle. The best part is we can actually work on this guy as well. Uh, we added a phone there, but I hope you got the point. Uh, that we can add these guys as well, make a little bit smaller, artboard should be a little bit longer, and then you can add these circles there. Okay, it looks amazingly awesome and should be working uh, equally good on running the simulator as well. If I can run this, we forgot to add the constraints there, so it might go here and there a little bit. Okay, so there we go. This is a nice circle icon. Looks a little bit jagged on my screen because this is a smaller screen and iPhone uh, pixel intensity is quite high. So there we go. Finally, you have learned how you can customize your UI in the Xcode, as well as you have learned how you can add the circle button. So a lot of things in just one video, and I hope you are happy. So let's go ahead and talk about something else in the next video.